Well, I was looking for that new iron spider, but uh, how about a first? We got Squadrons ATST Raider Chase, one of 15,000. Nice little find. Great way to start off a uh, hunt video. Let's go. What is going on? It's your guy, Ken Poole Collects. Uh, so that was lunchtime. We were at the Uptown Target in Charlotte, North Carolina. Found us a little, little Star Wars chase. Uh, first time finding uh, the Jazz Wares chase. Uh, got the like paint and the ATST from Mandalorian, so that was uh, pretty cool to uh, find. A little chase in the wild. Been uh, been a minute, so uh, pretty cool to locate a chase. Let me know in the comments if you all are collecting the Star Wars little micro galaxy uh squadrons very uh very cool neat uh designs cool looking ships excited to uh see more of those as we are out hunting but it is after work and uh getting ready for a another target run we're gonna see if we can find that iron spider uh been showing up all around uh, the East Coast. So hopefully we can find us an iron spider. Would have been nice <laughs> just to line up all those spider people. If you didn't uh, see last night's video, uh, we found the Renew Your Vows, Spider-Man, Spinneret. So definitely uh, be on the lookout for those different spider people hitting uh, Target stores. Can't say I've really seen them at Walmart, but uh, definitely those Target stores getting them in. If you're having trouble uh, finding stuff in your area, definitely check out Big Bad Toy Store. Link in the description. They got pre-orders, items in stock, all kinds of good stuff at Big Bad Toy Store. Marvel Legends, G.I. Joe Classified Series, Valverse Action Force, Mythic Legions, Hot Toys, all kinds of good stuff. So uh, make sure you check out Big Bad Toy Store. Link in the description. We got like lights blinking on and off. Is it uh, too dark? Is it too bright? <laughs> Trying to take advantage of this last little bit of light before it gets too dark. But uh, stay tuned. We are definitely on our way to Target. Hopefully got a lead on uh, maybe a location that has like five of them. So hopefully we'll be able to pick it up as long as those numbers are correct. And uh, speaking of numbers, jump on in, subscribe. Ken Pool Collects here on YouTube. Also over on Instagram, Ken Pool Collects. Give us a follow. Uh, posting pictures, videos, all kinds of good stuff. So sometimes when I find stuff, it goes up on Instagram before the videos. So definitely check it out Ken Pool collects let's get the hunt going target run here we go all right we are at the Blakeney target let's go see what we can find inside so last time we were at this location a lot of renovation going on they're getting uh, some things taken care of so we got uh, all the Star Wars set up here that's pretty cool uh, got look at this what two <laughs> chases in one video this is our moth gideon 
how uh, how crazy is that it's been a star wars chase kind of day so let's set that up here but look at that the uh, folded wings and everything one of fifteen thousand rare what a find what a find uh what else obi-wan got vader's tie advance got the x-wing there what's it gonna be uh wow that's crazy so a few tie advances got the millennium falcons <laughs> That is so wild. Got some Saw Guerrera there. Some vintage three or just three and three quarter inch. Got a Vader helmet, little robot. Got a Gore there. Got our light year. So the uh, Disney section kind of coming together a little bit of lego there well good thing they had the star wars set up that uh that was definitely helpful you can see some disney princesses there so yeah totally coming together let's see what else we can find so still a lot of uh, reorganizing, resetting going on. You can see we got some NECA here, original superheroes, a lot of our turtle stuff. Got some Pokemon cards, a little Star Wars, Funko, Piggy. So yeah, just a lot of stuff. A little Mario going on there. A couple levels, some different figures, a little Sonic level so a lot of our different gaming got some minecraft going on roblox uh, i think that's new halo i don't remember seeing that guy before some fortnite Let's see what we got in the end cap looks like they're getting ready to set up some hot wheels there got some hot wheels dumped a little dinosaur light year going on big t-rex transformers got the dino bot shock wave uh yeah look at all those power rangers so got about five of the power rangers century there but not too much Ooh, they do got uh motor master that's pretty wild Transformers, a little Decepticon there. Black Adam. Uh, let's take a look at this guy real quick. You Transformer fans. All right, look at that. So you got uh, the robot, you got uh, the stand. It's got uh, kind of similar, like an evil. Not necessarily Optimus, but uh, similar design to uh, the vehicle and uh, the trailer. Pretty cool there. Let's see what else we got. A little gold label with uh, Martian Manhunter. Got some of our uh, Owl Man build Starro. There's Superwoman. Got Robin. Lex. Luger, Luthor, <laughs> we got Baroness, there's some Black Adam, pretty cool, Let's see who else we got here, there's our Batman, little comic book versions of the characters, and a Superman, so I think the only one missing out of that set is uh, Constantine. All right, what did I do? Look at this, like bent over, not cool. There we go. That'll make it a lot easier to go up there so it doesn't drop down and get all crushed. There's our spider mobile, little web shooter. Got some dinosaurs. Ghost Spider, Spider Gwen, got a uh, little Black Panther going on, 
but uh, check it out. So not only do we have our two pack, which look at this, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of those, but we also got dun, 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 iron spider, one, two, three, four, five, uh, iron spider, got that price tag, umbaku, and look at that price tag for our two pack. So uh, just be mindful. Got our legacy characters. Uh, definitely check out uh, yesterday's video if you want to see what's inside. But look at our iron spider. I'm not going to lie. I thought the box would be a little bigger. Uh, definitely got a little bit of weight to it. Make sure uh, everything's sealed up right, that we're not uh, getting a surprise. But uh, yeah, that's uh, that's what we came for, is uh, the Iron Spider it said five, and uh, looks like we got five of them. So that is cool to see. Iron Spider. But uh, I'm just gonna leave that here for a minute. Let's see what else we can find. A little bit of Halo, Pokemon, all kinds of mixed up stuff. Pikachu, got uh, again the different Pokemon. Got some wrestling there. Kane, X-Pac, Mr. T, Hulk Hogan. Little Gundam pack. We got some Masters of the Universe. Big old T Rex. Got a little bit of uh, those like deluxe figures Gray Skull, Trap Jaw, Savage He Man. Got the uh, Triclops down there as well. And just all kinds of dinosaurs. Check this out. I walked past it when we were coming over. There's that uh, Batman, Batman, look at that, that is so cool. Little black and white edition, and then we also got some gold labels with Lex and uh, our Batman detective. So definitely, they're trying to get everything, you know, reset, reorganized, and it definitely looks like some stuff is coming in. Let's see what else we can find. Let's go down. And what we got on this side. There we go, some cars. Little tech deck going on. All these brothers up there, Matchbox. Like, look at this, just like carts. <laughs> carts of stuff. Little monster trucks. Hot Wheels, some Star Wars, a little Dark Trooper, color shifters, got some Mario Karts, all kinds of Jurassic World, some more Matchbox mixed in with the five packs, and we got a few single releases there as well with the Hot Wheels. So yeah, it is crazy. Uh, let's go see if we can find the Neck Funko and see if we can find anything else on this uh, Target run. In this with a lot of our remodels, our collector spot has uh, definitely shrunk down. Used to be uh, quite big. Used to take up like most of this wall, but we're seeing more Neca more Funko in the main aisles. We got a little Sylvie there. He Who Remains, a little Wolfman, One Piece, a little Cruella de Vil, Toonie Terror, Stranger Things. But yeah, not too much going on. Again, the turtles and a bunch of stuff we saw in the aisle. So we'll just kind of see how the uh, remodel kind of adjusts things. There is our 
Kong. And a little Halloween kills. So yeah, I think that's gonna do it for this target. I might have showed this last time we we're here. Uh, they got quite a bit on this end cap as well. So just on the other side here, we got uh, some more NECA monsters, some aliens, some predators. So uh, definitely keep an eye out on the end caps so you don't miss a single thing. We got some of those new aliens here, a little gun slinger action. So, yep, definitely keep an eye out at those uh, Target stores. All right, so two Chase Star Wars vehicles. We found our Iron Spider. Uh, it is getting a little dark outside, so we're gonna get back to the toy room and uh, we'll open up the Iron Spider. What a awesome little hunt for us. Uh, let me know, are you finding the new Spider-Man figures at your Target stores? And uh, what do you think of these Star Wars vehicles and the Chase variants? But uh, let's get back to the toy room and check out the Iron Spider. Welcome back to the toy room and it is more Spider-Man. We got the Iron Spider, little uh, 60 amazing years of Spider-Man going on. And this is our second uh, Hasbro box. There's our comic inspired illustration. There's our Iron Spider on the back. So you're getting uh, these arms, legs, figure, and uh, some web shooting hands. Got the closed fists already on the figure. Uh, we looked at the price point. Uh, $30 figure, so definitely let me know in the comments are the spider legs, you know, does that make it deluxe for you? Are you going to try to wait the long game on this figure? Maybe a uh, sale or something going on at Target, maybe a little bit of a discount. We're definitely going to open this up i feel like uh more and more it's like a mystery box what are we going to get inside it's gonna be our iron spider right uh i would say the biggest thing try to keep an eye on the tape and just make sure that these things are pretty solid tape wise uh, obviously somebody can come through and tape it again. So just be mindful, no box damage and that you're not getting a, uh, <laughs> a, uh, swap. So this is pretty good, at least on this one. You got the bottom too, so yeah, just watch for damage around the bottom of the box, kinda on these seams and uh, how much this flap is kinda out and loose, if that makes sense. All right, so this is interesting. We got a uh, cardboard here. So that looks like our legs. And then that looks like our hands. That's our little messages. All right. It looks red. <laughs> and what are we gonna have inside? up through and you know like five ten years later Hasbro will be uh, trying to figure out what to do with all this cardboard right all this cardboard that we're throwing away with uh, each box so yes we have us an iron spider 
and uh, this paint looks really good. Uh, definitely digging the uh, the gold, the red. Everything looks pretty good on the figure. Yeah, no uh, no complaints about the paint. That looks pretty good. Pretty cool figure. Uh, it's been quite a while since we've had the comic version of the Iron Spider. Let me see. Oh, man. I should have been ready, right? Should have been ready. And I don't even see where my Iron Spider is. I was going to grab him. Oh, man. Maybe, uh, maybe towards the end of the video. We'll bring in uh, the last release of uh, the Iron Spider. The comic expired. Uh, we did get Iron Spider with uh, the MCU, but uh, definitely digging the design of this one. The, uh, the red and the gold just kind of looking spot on to me. There's our two hands. So that would be... He's got these solid red hands, so it's not like we can grab the other Spider-Man hands if you wanted, like, the uh, open hands, like he's uh, wall crawling. So pretty much you're going to get the closed fist. You're going to get the web shooting hands, which is pretty good for, uh, for the Iron Spider uh because you can do quite a bit with uh these fancy legs look at these things uh look at that pretty tall you're gonna get some articulation so there will be pretty good and tight so you're gonna get looks like here and here are gonna be your bends, your movement. This piece, pretty solid, not going anywhere. Got a little bit up here at, uh, at the top. So here, here, and here. Three, uh, three points of articulation. But uh, y'all definitely let me know in the comments uh, you know, is this guy a deluxe? Are you excited that he is starting to hit those Target stores? Are you going to uh, pick it up? I'm going to uh, see if I can find my old Iron Spider and uh, we'll get some final thoughts on this figure. Iron Spider, uh, so I am ashamed to say I cannot find my last release Iron Spider. Also, uh, these legs, I was hoping that uh, they'd be able to support the body and uh, kind of have a little more uh, strength to them. That's like as elevated as I can get him. Uh, I'll definitely keep playing around with them. You know, you would hope for uh, kind of being a deluxe and stuff, you could do some real cool things with the legs. Uh, again, just the weight of the body seems a little too much. Uh, it almost, uh, you know, it's plastic. It doesn't have like ratchets where it can kind of lock in and maybe give us a better hold but here is our spider-man maybe yeah spider-man renew your vows and how about spinneret Kind of in there. Whoop. Of course. Knock over all the spider people. Why don't you, Kent? But you can see just the support. Look at that, man. So, just a little more. 
him off the ground a little bit, right? Let's see if I can knock these all over again. Come on, spinneret, we're counting on you. Don't, uh, don't fall forward there. Man, look at me just making a mess. Making a mess. It's what happens when you get into these late nights trying to get plastic to do exactly what you want. And trying to get this surface to do exactly what I want it to do. Come on. And look, look how low our iron spider is now. And that's a bummer. I mean, he's still, still off the ground. Feet aren't touching. And, you know, we fixed up the lab there. But uh, let me know in the comments, what do you think of all these Spider-Man figures we are getting from Hasbro? Little Marvel Legends action for you. I'm going to keep playing around with our Iron Spider and uh, hopefully we'll get uh, some fun poses out of him. Uh, I'm happy to have him in the collection. Like I said, the legs being the biggest accessory with the figure and the price point. Uh, it'd be nice if uh, they were just a little sturdier. But maybe as I play around, um, maybe I can come up with some uh, better poses. I didn't want him just, uh, you know, like on the ground with the arms kind of coming out. But that might be an option, uh, kind of more of a defensive pose or a web uh, shooting action going on with him but uh again let me know what you think in the comments let me know what you're looking for at target uh those star wars chases uh that was definitely a lot of fun finding those so not a bad little hunt uh if you're having trouble finding stuff in your area definitely check out big bad toy store we got a link in the description. Big Bad Toy Store. Get you uh, some pre-orders. Find uh, what you're looking for. Get it shipped to your door. And uh, save yourself some running around, some hunting. If, uh, if you don't want to. But yeah, we're going to keep... Playing around with uh, the old iron spider and uh, trying some different poses and whatnot. But definitely uh, check out Big Bad Toy Store. Like I said, a lot of great stuff. They got uh, Marvel Legends and a ton of different figures. 112th scale, Hot Toys. All kinds of great things that uh, you might want to add to your collection. So definitely check them out. If you uh, just go in the description and hit that link, uh, definitely helps out the channel. And thank you to all of our channel subscribers. Y'all are awesome. Appreciate all your support on each and every video. Helping us out here on Kent Pool Collects. Our channel members couldn't uh, do it without your support. Uh, always so, so cool to see your comments and uh, helping out the channel. And definitely enjoy reading all the comments but uh that looks like the best that i'm gonna be able to do <laughs> tonight 
uh, let me know in the comments. Uh, you have a lot of fun posing up your figures or you do just uh, kind of the museum quality with, uh, with setting them up. And until next time, always be hunting, have fun collecting.